Governor Cooper does not want large gatherings in the state. He's advising everyone not to hold or attend any event with 100 or more people. But what does that mean for bars and restaurants heading into this weekend? CBS 17's Amy Cutler live in downtown Raleigh with more on how those owners are reacting. Amy. Yeah, Marius, it's a tough decision for these restaurant owners and bar owners. Profit margins are often thin. Here at Raleigh Times, just behind us, they'll remain open, but they are taking precautions. People are nervous. Greg Hatem, the owner of Empire Eat, showing me around one of his restaurants, Raleigh Times, and what they're doing to keep people safe. We've been implementing best practices, and we've just stepped up those things. That includes cleaning tables and chairs between seatings. They'll also be removing tables, allowing for social distancing. Hatem admits that's more challenging at the bar, so they'll be letting fewer people in at one time. He's also encouraging his 500 employees not to come to work if they're sick. He acknowledges that's tough for those in the service industry. We're offering assistance to make sure that if they need some money, we can advance pay them. Over in Zebulon, Chuck Wakocha, the owner of wine shop Eno Neo, has decided to close for two weeks. We really wanted to consider the welfare of our patrons. He says it's something that's been on his mind these last few weeks. A lot of our patrons here, many of them are um, at least the average age is about 45 and up. And so you th start thinking about those that have a higher risk. As a small business owner, he tells me there's a financial impact. He's also concerned about his employees. It was not a light decision by any means. Wakocha says they'll reevaluate every week, hoping to reopen soon. Back out here at Raleigh Times, they are reminding people they do takeout. Some local restaurants and bars also offering deals on takeout, acknowledging that business has been slower than usual. Another option, gift cards. Live in Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.